so today we are trying to find out which npc in terraria is the strongest now terraria npcs they actually do get stronger depending on how many bosses and specific bosses you defeat and also they get stronger if you use this the advanced combat techniques so what we're going to be doing is we're going to test all the npcs pre defeated bosses and then we're going to test them after i defeat all the bosses just to see how much more damage they do after i am in the master mode world let's get it gonna be spawning all the npcs i can here no bosses beaten no hard mode so like hard mode npcs are gonna be in pre-hard mode and then if any npcs get new attacks when they enter hard mode they're just gonna have their pre-hard mode version but yeah let's get it let's, let's start with the guide and then i guess maybe i just go down the list from there boom guide boom arm zombie we got a nice little 12 10 damages looking like it's around that area hey get off of me bro <laughs> I guess I come over here next to the NPC so the zombie comes towards him. But yeah, it's, it's not bad. You know, if he hits a crit, maybe he can hit like a high 15 or something. But uh, it seems like 12, that's probably one of the highest he can get without a crit. I don't even know if NPCs can crit. They probably can. Oh, a 13. Okay. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see the merchant. Uh, I believe the merchant throws out throwing knives. Should do decent damage. Let's go ahead and bring him over here. Let's see the damage. Obviously going to be higher than the guide. I expect most NPCs to actually be higher than the guide. A nice 20. Looking good. Maybe he can hit higher than 20. Let's bring out the nurse. Nurse, I don't need you to heal me. I need you to do some damage to this zombie let's see okay so she applies the little poison effect which is actually pretty decent poison is always a good thing unless the enemy's resistant to poison you can't go wrong with damage over time effects i like the nurse's attack she does decent damage but nothing higher than 20 she can still probably put out a decent amount with the uh, poison damage over time but i'm still gonna say that the merchant is the strongest so far next up the arms dealer i expect a lot of damage from this guy he literally has a gun 40 a nice 40 right away go ahead let that thing go 45 maybe he can hit a 50 i kind of want to summon in another zombie see if he can hit a 50 okay i spawned another one he didn't hit no 50 let's bring in the dryad more known to buff people and uh, npcs and whatever players let's see what she could do by herself Ooh. Ooh. so it seems like she got a little better damage over time effect and then she has the little the ring of leaves actually really not too bad damage i think she's stronger than the nurse definitely stronger than the nurse it also seems like she gives me a thorns effect so let me let me summon in a zombie and this time i'll get away from her see if she just does the damage by herself because i think it was actually me doing the damage yeah so she does like okay damage i, I definitely think uh it's more than the nurse in terms of damage over time because it does two damage over time but uh in terms of like actual hit damage nothing because it was me using the thorn effect she gives me all right we have the old man i'm positive the old man doesn't actually like shoot at npcs or anything even if you just summon him in randomly he's trying to talk about stuff can we talk about you defending yourself <laughs> okay so he's not gonna do anything instead let's bring in the demo another big damage dealer dang almost knocked the zombie out of the arena only did 34 damage come on at least 40 come on do it do a, do a nice 40 bomb literal 40 bomb Mm, that's not that good mr demo it seems like the uh the arms dealer is still the strongest so far i'll give him one more try okay so he hit 37 with one of the grenades but uh still not a 40 or over 40 next up let's bring in my boy chippy all right chippy go ahead do some work so i believe chippy here he actually has a uh, different attack when he enters hard mode i believe unless i'm remembering wrong but uh he, he does decent damage uh it might be higher than the honestly might be more than the the arms dealer just because he has that damage over time effect with the shadow flame that's doing five five damage over time that's pretty good not to mention his direct shot does like a nice 29 25 not bad but uh well, i'll still have the arms dealer over him just because the arms dealer does more first shot like the his initial shot does more damage we got the goblin tinker let's see what he could do he might have a nice attack just because it might be able to hit multiple times let's see if he even wants to attack there we go maybe i could like you know bring him over here into the ball oh <laughs> not bad i don't think his uh initial hit's gonna do that much but you can do some decent damage when you bring him over the ball all right we got a change of music coming up nice i guess we needed it let's bring in the wizard it's a hard mode npc i expect good damage oh the spike ball is still here cheating he's cheating all right let's try the wizard again spike ball is gone he can no longer cheat nice dirty and he does do damage over time but i do not think he's going to surpass the 
arms dealer, which is actually surprising. Maybe it's because, you know, no hard mode buffs. Maybe some of these NPCs will do a lot more damage with the hard mode buff, but also the arms dealer will too. Let's bring in the mechanic. You know, she got a nice little boomerang attack. So that's like a nice like 30 she get hit around. Not bad. Still not a 40 though. Santa Claus, we'll summon him later. I, I gotta, you know, either change the date or do some other thing to get him to spawn in. Let's bring in the Truffle. Truffle is probably one of the cooler NPCs to do damage. 77? Oh my god. That was a lot of damage. We have a new champion so far taking the damage. Can we hit 80? I feel like low key we can hit 80. Let's see. I might have to summon a couple more and see. All right, I did not see any anything higher than 77, so I'm sorry, Truffle. You gotta go. Next up, we got the Steampunker. Oof. The Steampunker with the Clockwork Assault Rifle doing a lot of damage instantly. I would say she does like 60, around 70 maybe, if we add up all those numbers. So not bad. I still think I would put the uh, truffle above her, but she's definitely up there. Top three. All right, die trader. Don't expect too much from die trader melee uh, NPC. Let's let's see what happens. You never know. Maybe it could be a good melee hit. Mm, not really. It seems like doing the same damage over and over again. Solid 16. Let's bring in the party girl. She throws in her grenades. Not bad. She could probably hit 60, 48, unless 57 is where she maxed out. Maybe she can't hit 60. I don't know. I'm not seeing a 60 from this. I'll give her one more try. Maybe if there's like a party going on, maybe she'd be a little bit more enthusiastic to hit higher than 55. Next up, Cyborg. I got some high hopes for the Cyborg. He's a heavy hitter. You know, if you remember watching my Terraria NPC battles, you know, he's definitely up there for one of the stronger NPCs. Oh, and he's got multiple attacks. 73. Still not higher than the Truffle 77, but that is up there. He's definitely made his way into the top three. I feel like maybe he could hit an 80, maybe. I do like that he has multiple attacks, very unique. For him being one of the more useless NPCs in the game, unless you're playing Ranger, and even then, as a Ranger, you probably won't even talk to him. <laughs> you know, he's got some cool attacks at least. Painter, definitely a slept on NPC in terms of damage. Nah, not even slept on because if you're playing the Ranger class, you usually want to get that paintball gun because it's just a solid, really is just a solid early game range weapon. Semi-automatic, so you're able to bust it on people. Get to bust all over. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with this. He did not do that much damage though in terms of, you know, initial damage. It probably was a nice like 20, 30 if we added up all the numbers. Let's bring in the Witch Doctor. What can you do, Witch Doctor? show me oh he's got the darts with the poison not bad don't think you're gonna be surpassing the truffle or the cyborg though now the pirate is somebody i expect that could potentially pass oh my god oh my god that is a lot of damage very quick the pirate was also known in the npc battles would be a great matchup 80 we might have a new number here 86 the pirate also does have multiple attacks with the the cannon 97 Oh my god, we definitely have a new winner. This dude is up there. I think we pretty much have him, Truffle, and Cyborg. I think those are definitely top three contenders right now. We got the Stylus, another melee attacker. Don't expect too much, honestly. Maybe more than the Die Trader? No, less than the Die Trader. All right, I've seen all I need to see. Traveling Merchant, I believe this is another NPC that switches weapons when hard mode happens. Still not bad damage, 44? That's more than the arms dealer did with his pistol. So not bad arms dealer. Good job. Maybe he could hit 45. There you go. I was about to say it. Angler. Don't expect too much from the angler in terms of doing high damage. Probably like, if I were to guess right here, 30, 25, 27 way less oh my god pathetic i don't even need to see anymore tax collector hard mode melee npc don't expect a lot he literally beats people with a cane but i do appreciate that he charges taxes on npcs that just try to live freely in homes that i built them tavern keep another npc i don't expect too much out of i kind of wish instead of just throwing ale he threw like molotovs now that would make him a decent NPC in terms of damage, but hold up, not bad, not bad. Maybe I was sleeping on the ale tosser. Hey, you wanna, you wanna throw, throw some more? Come on, take him out, take him out so I don't have to. There we go. Next up, we got the golfer. Now I don't know if I was the only one. I feel like there was a handful of people. I remember when they originally showed a uh, golfing in 1.4. Like, was I the only one that thought, hold up, 
golfing subclass like maybe you could use the clubs and stuff you know launch golf balls and enemies and maybe use the clubs as melee weapons themselves too i don't was i the only one i feel like it's a missed opportunity instead of slapping the balls with the club he just throws the balls with his hands a little bit upsetting we got the zoologist i don't know if she has different attacks in her uh full wolf form fox form whatever i don't even know what her attack is what is her attack can i see it does she not attack melee Oh, she just like slashes with like her claws. Okay. I do want to kind of see if she has different attacks at nighttime. Might be a little dark. It's all good. Mood lighting. Let's see. Does she have better attacks? They might be doing more damage. They look like they're doing average 30s instead of what she was doing before. I'll be honest. I wasn't even paying attention to the numbers. Let's see. Show me what you got. Okay, yeah, so she does do more damage at night. That's good to keep in mind. All right, last but not least, except for Santa Claus, we have the princess. Let's see. Oh my God. I'll be honest, the princess, I probably had like once ever as an NPC, maybe even less than that. <laughs> but this seems like very solid damage a great attack honestly is that the weapon she sells that does this does she like okay she might drop the weapon but not bad good job princess she probably top five top four honestly maybe even top three uh sadly the pets don't do any damage uh, it makes sense all right i have changed the date of my computer santa claus is here go ahead santa show me what you got okay maybe you want to aim a little bit more Okay, you're getting there. There we go. Honestly, not bad if he could hit a 30. Not bad. I, I, I feel like high 20s or 30s is a good number. Yeah, there you go. There was all the NPCs pre-buffs. It's time for me to go kill all the bosses and uh, get all their buffs on. And also, let me let me just go ahead and pop this right now. All right, there we go. I've killed all the bosses needed. The NPC should be buffed a lot more. Let's run through this very fast. Let's start with the guy. Let's see the damage. Oh, he's shooting fire arrows now. And wow, you can already see the major improvements. He's hitting in the 70s now. We are in hard mode. Pretty much killed every single boss. Not bad, guide. I think his highest was like a 70. Good for him. I, I like how much more damage he does. Actually kind of useful. All right, let's do the merchant. Let's see what you got, man. I'm expecting some decent damage. If the guide is hitting 70s, I expect you to hit 80s. Okay. Maybe the guide got a lot stronger than him. Hold up. The guide has always been a sleeper NPC. I remember during one of the uh, Terraria NPC battles. You know, he was he was a wild card. He could have got really far. And he almost did. I guess some of the stronger NPCs. But yeah, not bad. He was hitting like 60s. 67 high 60s. No 70 like the guide. Let's see the nurse. I'm actually interested to see. Does she do more damage over time? Let's see. Or does she just hit harder with contact damage? Not too much of a buff. Kind of understandable. She, she, it's the nurse, man. It's the nurse. Didn't expect too much. Now this this next dude I expect a little bit from. Let's see it, man. What you got? What you got? Oh, he said, let me whip out the mini shark. Oh my God. So he's doing very, very decent damage. If we're combining everything together, he's doing like 300, 400 maybe. But if we're counting like initial hit, he's hitting 82. It seems like it's the highest hit he could do. 83, just proved me wrong. So he could probably hit like 85 or something. Dryad, let's see what she could do. Another one I'm kind of interested in. So she's doing six damage per tick instead of, what was it, two before? Not bad, not bad at all. Now I wonder, personally, how much does a Thorns buff give me? Will I insta-kill? Let's see if I insta-kill. Okay, it seems like a lot better. But uh, definitely not an insta-kill. For sure, really not an insta-kill. But uh, it is cool that it does more damage. And if you got god mode like me, you don't take knockback. Or you can just put on, you know, shield. And you can do a lot of damage running into something. Demo. Now, what does he throw? He, he should throw, like, a different explosive instead of a grenade. 101. Hey, shout out. My boy, he's trying to shout out Gamer. There's 101. I see him. What we got? What else we got? Is 101 the highest he can do? I appreciate that number. Can you do any more damage, though? It seems like 101 might be his highest. Oh, 103. There we go. 111. Nice. So he might be able to hit 120 low key. All right. We got my boy Chippy here. What you got? Okay. So his attacks don't change. I was wrong about that. Uh, he almost hit 100. He hit 90. So not bad. Uh, the demo and this dude are definitely up there. I'm very interested to get to the hard mode NPCs. You know, the ones that were scraping the top last time i honestly might save the pirate and the cyborg for last yeah he hit a nice little 70 right there obviously if i run over the spike ball i'll do more damage too 84 not bad 
maybe a high 80 maybe a low 90 he could hit i don't know i don't know, I don't know. all right let's bring out the wizard here make sure the spike balls are gone oh he shoots multiple fireballs i saw a 98 in there not bad maybe a 100 he could hit come on wizard show me that you can like hit a 100 that would really impress me. We haven't seen 100 besides the demo. 91, not bad. Okay, so high 90s or like mid 90s. Shoots a lot of fireballs though. So honestly, if we double that, you know, he can maybe hit for like 180, low key. We combine the damages he does from the two fireballs. Not bad at all. Uh, engineer or mechanic, it's, it's okay. My boy Santa Claus, what's up Santa? What you got, man? Bad range, bad aim. There we go. Oh my, oh my God. Santa Claus out of nowhere just took first place just like that just took first place off of initial contact damage or initial hit damage was that a 119 I saw 117 101 shout out 125 Santa Claus oh my god hey don't be messing with Santa Claus you know that boy that boy can do some damage all right truffle this one I expect to honestly do a good bit I'm expecting a 120 also 235 246 truffle no way the truffle is putting out some damage hold up boys come this way jump 240 uh i think i saw like a 249 in there maybe really not that bad damage at all uh definitely the highest uh, i'm gonna give him like 250 honestly because i bet he probably could hit 250 but that was insane i really was not expecting that steampunker decent damage as always not bad all right melee npc again don't don't expect too much <laughs> uh 40 50 okay no no not the worst party girl no idea i say maybe a hundred give me a nice 100 Ooh, okay a 160 170 right after that potentially a 180 190 maybe 180 nice so she can do 180 it's not too bad. Truffle is still on top right now. Oh, I'm supposed to save you for last. Hold up. Painter, don't expect too much from him. Honestly. Well, let's see. Eh, it's, it's okay. It's kind of like a weaker mechanic or a steampunk. Weaker and slower. No idea. Oh, I like the velocity, how fast the darts are flying. And a nice 100. Around the low 100s, really not that bad at all. Good job, Witch Doctor. Stylus, melee NPC, I'm expecting 40. 40 seven 45 i was so close traveling merchant now i believe he should be using the pulse bow oh whoa kind of clean if you got walls to bounce off of i saw a 170 right there not bad he could put out damage pretty fast if you got walls and stuff to bounce off of 172 not bad good job traveling merchant angler don't expect too much from me let's see what you got though 49 can you hit like a 55 at the very least a 50 at all come on show me you can hit a 50 there we go tax collector 39 what the hell tax collector tavern keep honestly i expect greatness from the tavern keep he was doing decent damage 100 111 109 i was so close i was so close consistent 109 112 you trying to hit everything that isn't 111 141 out of nowhere nice golfer really don't have a clue uh let me i say like 80 82 85 85 final guess oh my god 84 i was so close <laughs> oh he did hit an 85 eventually i'm assuming he could probably hit a 90 all right we got daytime zoologist let's see and then we'll check out nighttime too obviously uh 70 i expect 70 64 69 close to 70 <laughs> nice high mid 80s mid 80s i sound like a weather man nighttime the demons and beasts are out let's see what she could do here i'm expecting 115 104 128 oh not bad 127 so she can maybe hit 130 there you go 130 right there nice good job zoologist all right let's throw the princess in here i expect a good amount of damage from the princess let's see it okay not bad what was that 100 something 101 hey shout out shout out she does decent damage and she does it very quickly too you'd like to see it 118 so she could probably reach like 120s 130s maybe on a good hit all right let us see the last two here we got the pirate and the cyborg let's bring in the cyborg show me what you got man let's see both of your attacks 213 i still think the truffle is higher than that 235 not bad 
Let's see what else you got, man. I... 504? Oh my god. <laughs> 504 was that really 504 he just hit or am i tripping i might have to watch the footage back because there's no way he hit a 504 right it was like the numbers overlapped or something because he's not hitting a 504 now maybe it was just like a lucky crit I'm like yeah look, look these attacks aren't doing that much damage now let me watch the video back all right i watched it back and it really looked like he did 504 damage that's honestly insane <laughs> we might have the winner right here we might not even need to check out the pirate, but let's do it anyways. Show me something crazy, pirate. Show me a thousand. Okay, maybe not that. Show me 550 or something. I don't know. 504, that really might be hard to beat. We need to obviously have him shoot his cannon. That's what we need. 250 with the cannon. 258. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> 302. Okay, you're getting up there. You're definitely getting up there. We need that cannon. I think he shoots the cannon when he's close. So let's have him walk up a little bit and then boom, cannon. It looks like 300, low 300s is uh where it's gonna have to stop, man. I don't think a 504 is gonna pop out. It's just, it's insane, 504. <laughs> so we have our top damage dealer here, the strongest NPC in Terraria. And in my opinion, probably one of the more useless NPCs that you barely talk to is the cyborg. Honestly, did surprise me. I expected him to do decent damage, but 504, 500 damage from a single NPC. Hey, if you ever need an NPC near you when you're fighting a boss or something, you know, yeah, this might be the guy. Like, I feel like he can low key solo a boss. Just if he doesn't die, because like, look how much damage he's done already. Yeah, <laughs> really not that bad. I kind of wish he shot a little bit more. Come on, bro, shoot a little bit more. Help me out a little bit more. It would be nice if he hit the 504 right now. Oh, he's dead as hell. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you got a decent answer out of this. Obviously, the numbers are going to be a little bit weird here and there. I try to have like a decent control group in terms of using literally the same exact enemy. And then I put it on the hardest difficulty. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you all next time.